Hi there, Cancer. Give me just a quick second. Um, I'm going to jump on in to your uh, bonus 48 hour series video. Thank you, first of all, so much for your patience. Um, right through each of the signs we happen to do this this week. It's not often that we do this uh, series. So, 48 hours. Let's just clear the energy. Some of you, I see that you are in a connection here with somebody. There's someone on your mind. I feel this is about someone. It could be work related. It could be friendship, whatever. But I just see that there is this growing, like, sort of, um, let's say it like this, Cancer, someone's catching feels and they're falling in love and they kind of want you all to themselves. Some of you here, someone is starting to maybe feel a bit sensitive in ways that they weren't expecting to. Someone here maybe is starting to sort of feel very even sentimental about someone and they weren't expecting to. I'm also though seeing, as I was meditating, I was getting here before I turned the camera that, um, there's almost this, um, it's like someone here is starting to feel, um, just very aware of the relationship that they're in from a, from a new standpoint, like something that they never thought would bother them. For instance, let's give an example, like it's starting to, okay. For some, um, this could be the example of, I realize that also like, okay, I'm dating someone here and we're having a certain connection. And then it's like, this person keeps butting in and I'm starting to think that maybe there is a third party. I hear it like that. Three of Wands in reverse, three of Cups in reverse. You're realizing maybe that you don't want to be um, sort of like open-ended with that. Like you want to maybe be committed. We'll say, okay, maybe for some of you, let's give this other example now. Cancer, I feel like you, someone's catching, catching it for you. They got the love bug here, okay? Yeah, the love bug caught them. Like they're starting to think about, you know, they're realizing, yeah. Okay, Cancer, let's say it like this. Okay, some of you dealing with a Leo, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Aries, Cancer. <clears throat> Gemini, some Taurus, <laughs> Aquarius as well. A lot of Cancer though. Uh, even some Virgo, but anyways, um, Aquarius, yeah. It could be Moon in Aquarius. Like this person is realizing that, yeah, this whole like uh, she can move on thing is also not going to be is not going to be something that I can deal with. Okay, um, maybe this person literally, yeah, this person could even be in the entertainment field. I'm seeing someone here wearing like what looks to be like a Hollywood hat. <clears throat> like they may be in yeah they or they love to wear hats something about hats like maybe they like to kind of keep it anonymous or more of an anonymous type but they're realizing that they're actually extremely preoccupied with who you may be who you may be moving on with i hear like that like this person they have a lot of cancer they're very sensitive more sensitive than they thought and i feel like this context of the relationship they have with you is making them realize that like oh my god I'm actually like, yeah, I'm actually like kind of but very, we've been protective over this person in ways that I did not think. This person thought that maybe you just be like a fantasy and that maybe you guys would just have a more lighthearted energy together. Um, that's how I hear it. No, this person is realizing that <clears throat> they're actually very protective over you and they don't want to share. I hear it like that specifically now. For some of you here, um, I'm here in Angelina, Angeli, Angelica. Yeah, they could be a friend. It's like they're starting to become kind of like possessive a bit, maybe. Okay, you may start to realize that. Um, is a factor in the connection. As I was meditating, <clears throat> let's just put, yeah, there's someone here who keeps me interrupting. Maybe they're realizing like, okay, I don't, I said I was okay with you having these friends and like we would just kind of be like a hookup, but they actually really need to like kind of feel that you're here for me. I hear that, yeah. Maybe that's a subtle realization. Like I do want a relationship. I do see this person as, okay, yeah, commitment, a commitment, yeah, that I wasn't admitting in the past, okay. It's like they're committed to you anyways and the starting to realize like, Okay, I, I, yeah, I, I have to sort of say something. Maybe they're gonna come out and say something. Maybe for you, this is that energy of someone even, kind of just like uh, coming out of this behavior space of like, oh, it's like whatever. Like I feel this person doesn't want that, it's to end like that, okay? Maybe they started the relationship off like that, but they're starting to want more from you. I hear that as well. Maybe more confirmation from you. Yeah, wow. This person feels like, honestly, you guys, the beginning of your connection is very different from the end point or at least where you're at now, like this person is seeing you as a complete, um, you know, it sounds bad. It sounds like, oh, they didn't appreciate me. No, but like, um, it's kind of like you and this person have changed and developed over the course of the relationship to the point where it's like you have really grown and this person has grown. And the way now that you grow, the direction in which you grow is making it really clear to you and then th thereby to this person that you are really in, um, a league of your own okay many of you here you are you are an empress there's no question uh this is not about the emperor right now this is about this person in yeah mm -hmm. this is you seeing yourself as an empress and like i feel like yeah guys like this could have been a friendship i'm getting like really hard 
yeah, hardcore, like, even the friends with benefits, you know, kind of like, well, I, I do feel this way, but I, my ego is too big to really, yeah. This person is uh, realizing, whoever this is, that they also don't want to be robotic around you. They want to get more sentimental. They do, for some of you, they want to, they want to, they want to make you fall in love. I mean, that's not like Chris Isaac. Because I don't want to fall in love. Is that how it goes? I think it's, uh, yeah. With you. Is it Chris Isaac? Mm. Wicked game. The wicked game you play to make me feel this way. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's. I think that's the song. Uh, anyways, I think that's the one. I'm hearing that as well. She's the one. Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking when I was just yeah. Uh, so feelings have grown, you guys. Like they've really sort of come into their own energy as well. I don't think that they were like joking when they said maybe that they just want to be friends or that. It's not that they're lying per se, but um, they're just developing feelings, you guys. Yeah, we are just. They're, they're realizing that the feelings were there. They're realizing w that they can also, yeah, have feelings. Maybe they were very um, shy. They're realizing that feelings can exist, like maybe in this capacity. Hmm. Could be a friend that's falling in love with you. That's for some. Anyways, would it be too hard, right? Cancer is very, very loving uh, type in the higher spectrum, right, of the energy. Cancer can also be extremely manipulative. Like, I'm going to indent you with my love. <laughs> okay, so the baby, baby child never leaves mommy. It's like, okay, oh my God. Okay, anyways, whoa. So let's get further though a little bit. I, I know very, I know cancer very well. I have a lot of uh, cancer in my chart personally, but then I also it's a south node energy though, uh, rather. And so yeah, my north node is Capricorn. Anyways, Queen Swords. Yeah, this person here is realizing through other factors around your relationship that they how they see you. Honestly, like this person here does see you seriously. They do see you see you. Um, yeah, as someone who you talk to this person quite often. For some of you, like when you don't pick up, they start to feel like, hey, like what are you doing? Like they're starting to become. I'm telling you, like. But it's partly also because of this, <clears throat> they're not realizing, I feel that, it's partly because of what they told you, right? Like, if, yeah, it's in the back of their mind subconsciously, like, I know that I told her, or I know that I told him that I'm just seeing him as a friend or however. But then that is making me feel like less secure about what it is that I know that I really want to actually see come to fruition here. This person maybe was holding back. Hmm. They maybe were wanting you to sort of be a driver here with the connection. Hmm. There's something that they weren't sure of maybe that they weren't sure of but then they're realizing that that's an ego thing whatever was holding them back from being able to tell you how they really felt so okay we have the recaps uh, uh, guys like there is something here maybe that they felt was a factor where it's like i can't be with that person like it was very much mental energy yeah yeah for sure so this person is having an awakening i feel like they're realizing that like honestly you're the one for some of your cancer like that you feel all of these check boxes like i feel this person was more in an avoidant energy but they do really see that you guys can make i'm here and you guys can make it like you can make this happen you can make this couple circle it can be a work situation maybe someone was like well they're not technically qualified but it's like they're outperforming the ceo it's like so you're not gonna hire them i hear like that something like that that's fine you're not gonna, yeah they're outperforming yeah maybe your ex anyways mrs claus five cups could be that someone here is moving on after that yeah maybe they said i'm never gonna move on and here comes that one person, okay? You're gonna move on, Cancer, I hear like that, because this person here is making you happy. Some of you here, you're realizing as well that when I'm not around them, like, I, I yeah, I strongly feel someone was downplaying the importance someone had in their life. And they're realizing, like, when I'm not around this person, I do feel impacted. I can't say that she's just nobody to me, I hear like that. Someone here had a huge ego. I'd like to get a little bit more on that, like, what was that factor? It's like up to universe. They were, they had their heart chakra closed down. Yeah, they were maybe even like denying what you were feeling for them. For some, they were pushing you away maybe. Um, I do see like a lot of intellectualization here about this connection. Like I'm not really <clears throat> interpreting really what I'm feeling, kind of closing the heart chakra. Like I'm not processing what I'm feeling. Okay. Yeah, this person also felt like there were a lot of people around you. Maybe they were indirectly very insecure that you maybe would not be faithful to them. So they kind of like wanted to avoid rejection, kind of a trauma throw chakra, yeah. This person, um, they're not at all admitting to you what they feel. I don't feel like this is going to last very long, though. Um, let's get a little bit here. Yeah, you guys, um, I feel like... I see a black hat. You're their dream, honestly. They're realizing that um, this is, yeah, a liar manifest. Yeah, they actually, honestly, for some of you here... Um, for some of you, there is this feeling that there could be a third party around someone that you're very interested in. There could be this energy of like, I realize I want to also protect what I love. But then for some of you, this is um, someone realizing that they're lying to themselves about who they told you they were. Okay, to you. It's like, they were maybe telling you like, we're just friends. I hear, I hear that again. Maybe in an indirect way. Maybe, you know, just, it's like, you're just an intern. It's like, 
Oh, really? Yeah, but you guys were practically a couple like that. Anyways. So, I want to get a Celtic cross, like, what led to this point. But yeah, right now in these next few days, like, this person is heavily in their feels. I'm hearing that song, Boot Up. In my feelings. Yeah. My anxiety. Maybe they're, like, for the first time you went on a vacation without them or something, and they're just like, oh, I feel this person's heart beating. It's just weird, like, we, yeah, they're maybe checking up on your stories. This person, I feel you are proving to them indirectly that they are in love with you. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune, that's for someone, uh-huh. <clears throat> Could also be that maybe they were, like, um, leaving you hanging with something, and then they realized that that's making them feel, like, really uncomfortable about their future. Maybe they even, like, honestly let you go. Like, they kind of let the opportunity go. Maybe, let's put they stood you up, even. It's, like, it's, like whatever they thought they were going to after that point would, was not as exciting like they realized that they would much rather be with you yeah this is about some event i feel like maybe they stood you up or they said like eh. they, they didn't pursue the opportunity and i feel like that's going to drive them to the point to really be extremely committed to you in the future i hear that this is the this is this week this is next few days will be the foundation point for them in their mind as to the decision they make to finally pursue you in a more committed context okay in capacity seeing the next